Jabeck. To the average motorist touring in Belgium, the name means little. But to the motorist with a taste for real speed, the name is one of the most famous in Europe. For on this splendid highway, the Jabeck Altri Motor Road, the cream of Europe's high-performance cars are put through their paces. And to this road was brought for test the new Triumph sports car. On May the 20th, 1953, on the famous Jebecca Highway in Belgium, Standard Triumph's new sports car broke the land speed record for a two-litre production car. The plucky Triumph TR2, wearing the registration plate MVC575, was driven by test driver Ken Richardson and reached a speed of 124.889 miles per hour. It was to be the beginning of over three decades of sporting success for Triumph's TR sports car range and a milestone in British automotive history. On the very same day, May the 20th, in 2017, the car's current owner concluded MVC 575's monumental restoration when the record-breaking Triumph TR2 once again took to the roads of Jebecca in Belgium. You've just run MVC 575 through the streets of Jebecca here in Belgium. After 14 months of putting this car back together and saving it from obscurity, how did that feel today? It was wonderful just to come back here. Um, it's a shame the road isn't as it was and we could go up and down it as fast as we want, but just to be back in the town where the car was famous for doing its stuff was amazing. Tell us a bit about some of the places where it's been seen already. Um, well, it's actually been seen a few times during its build. We wanted people to be able to see what was happening with the car. And the first time, I think, was at the on the TR register stand uh, in March, uh, the year before last, when the front end was sort of complete but not painted. And there was no back end on the car at all. And then the next time it was seen finished was on the TR register stand again at, uh, in November last year. Uh, there was no interior in it, but the car was quite drivable then. Um, so uh, most of the time it's been on show, it's been on the TR register stand or, or, or involved with them. Uh, it's been to a few local rallies, but this is sort of, for me, the most important thing that this car can ever do is come back to this place and be shown and people see it. had a fantastic unveiling at the Royal Automobile Club back in March this year as well. Unbelievable, a, a, a thing you cannot buy. Um, Tom Purvis, the chairman of the RAC Club, has a TR3 himself, so it, it is interesting for him. He organised for the car to be shown in the Rotunda building, which is just unbelievable, and then for 30 people to have dinner, uh, all paid for by the RAC Club, um, was just an unbelievable event and also wonderful for the car and for the TR register to have that sort of event and that coverage. And of course lots of people seeing this car this weekend for the first time as well. And a lot of people are surprised to see that it's not white. Well uh, everyone is surprised apart from a few people who knew. Even when I bought the car I didn't know it was meant to be this colour. It was painted in a very similar colour. Someone had obviously painted it before it was uh, taken off the road. But because all the photographs of the car are in black and white, this, if you do a black and white photo, it just comes up as white. Um, there is a film about the car, uh, the original doing the speed run, and you can just see glimpses of this colour in the colour pictures on there. So you, you can actually tell, but it's called ice blue and it's green. But the brakes, our drum brakes, so they're not very good. We're on cross ply tyres, so it falls off corners. Uh, it overheats because of all the under tray, the air can't get out of the engine bay, but we have to have it like this. This is how it has to look. We have to save every single bit that we could. Um, a lot of the uh, internal panels are riveted together, they're not welded. Um, we can actually see a join in the back of the car where the car was extended and we do 99.9% .9 believe that this car was TR1. Um, and they just chopped the back end off and they put the new back end on. So, you know, its history really is impeachable. It, it's so important. Everyone is keen to get a close-up of the car and to compare notes on its achievement. And Tommy Wisdom, as racing driver and journalist too, is quick to voice his appreciation of the achievement of the car on this, its first showing. With a ratio of performance to price like this car has, it's safe to predict a great future for the new Triumph sports car.